So we wanted to show you some more of the invertebrates that we caught in our trawl today. Uh, the first one I wanted to show you is this one here. This is called a channeled whelk. It's a species of large snail that's actually predatory. Uh, so a lot of snails will graze on algae in the rocky intertidal zone, but this one actually likes to eat meat. So it can prey on some animals. Uh, you'd imagine that it has to be a really slow moving animal for this one to catch it and prey upon it. And you'd be right with that. These prey on mostly clams, uh, but will also scavenge on carcasses of other dead animals down at the bottom of the sound. Uh, so this shell is actually nicely developed. It can uh, use its strong, powerful muscle at the uh, base here to actually wedge this part of the shell into uh, the umbo or the joint where a clam shell joins and uh, use a twisting motion to kind of pop it open and eat the soft body of the clam inside. Uh, the other shell that we have here is also a channeled whelk shell. However, the animal living in it is not a channeled whelk. You can see we have a broad claw hermit crab in here. Uh, obviously the whelk makes the shell as it grows. You can see uh, these whorls uh, started out really tiny. Uh, when this animal hatched from its egg, it looked pretty much the same, just a lot smaller. And as it grows, it actually will add more onto the shell in a spiral pattern until you get uh, a big animal like we have here. Uh, the whelk that made this shell pass away and something either ate the soft body inside and what was left over was the hard shell afterwards. And that creates a nice uh, home for this broad claw hermit crab. So it gives it a little extra protection. These hermit crabs, just like other crabs, do have an exoskeleton, so these claws are uh, pretty hard and they can uh, be taken up into the shell to create sort of a trap door uh, to protect, any, uh, protect them from any predation. Um, but these shells are actually just a little extra protection for them.